Hi, it's day 351. Uh, the days are getting longer and uh, spring is in the air, as it should be. It's officially here in a couple of weeks. Uh, I've been spending a little more time indoors, online, uh, researching and trolling the classifieds. Uh, as it turned out, my Subaru was a write-off, uh, just too much body damage. So I'm in the market for a new car. And um, vehicles command a bit of a premium on island because it costs, well, about $1,000 just to get them here on the ferries. And, uh, well, there's no dealerships, uh, no used car lots, and uh, pickings are rather slim uh, in the classifieds, uh, especially for something uh, good like a Toyota pickup. Uh, in the interim, uh, Kelly's kindly lent me her car while she's on vacation, uh, Honda Civic. Great on gas, but uh, you kind of have to tiptoe around the potholes with a car like that. Chris the Mapper just got back on island this week uh, and recovering well from his uh, heart surgery. Uh, he and Ellen also came back with a uh, sexy new, well, new to them, 96 Toyota Tacoma with a uh, canopy. And uh, so, yeah, I'm coveting their truck and their dog. Um, but he's agreed to uh, let me use his old pickup, uh, Nissan with a cracked frame. And uh, he let it sit for a couple of months while they're away. And in this kind of wet climate, uh, mold grows uh, fairly quickly and it's uh, attack the interior. Uh, Mare also just got back. Uh, she logged a few uh, miles on her um, Mercedes diesel wagon, uh, which she says she's uh, intending to convert to vegetable oil, which sounds fantastic to me. Any way to uh, decrease your dependency on gas. Uh, and not just because we pay the highest gas prices of anywhere in the province. Uh, everything's expensive here since it needs to be brought in by boat or plane, but it's just uh, an increasingly scarce and polluting liquid. And uh, this past week we were reminded uh, of our dependency and the potential massive um, negative impacts of oil. Um, the joint review panel, a three-person panel, uh, was here for hearings about the Enbridge uh, Northern Gateway project. And it was terrific to hear people here, including people from Haida Gwaii Coast, uh, speak out about it. Uh, if you're not familiar, the plan is to build a pipeline from uh, Alberta tar sands to northern BC, uh, to the coast. And uh, there it, uh, it'll fill hundreds of super tankers that will then uh, ply uh, some of the roughest waters in the world just off the coast here. Uh, an accident would seem inevitable. Yeah, it would just take one tanker spill to ruin uh, the kind of life that you've seen uh, people enjoy here over the past year. And it's the kind of life that people have been living on the coast for thousands of years. And um, I, for one, am going to do whatever I can uh, to oppose it as well. And uh, I hope you would consider doing so as well. Anyway, have a great week and I will talk to you next Tuesday. Thanks.